Okay, so time for another Feature Friday. We're going to do a rather different series this time around. We're going to explore the Maximo Application Framework. This is where you're able to open up, modify, duplicate the different mobile applications that come with Maximo Application Suite. A little bit different in the area that uh, you'll need to have some knowledge of uh, XML files as well as some JavaScript files. But we'll walk you through some of the steps to get set up, show you some of the end results, and uh, provide you links to uh, IBM uh, documentation. So let's get started with part one. Okay, so the very first thing you want to do is go to this link that you see here on the screen. And we'll also provide it down in the description uh, below. Uh, the point is, is you're looking for the topic of the Maximo Application Framework configuration. IBM may move their documentation around, so this particular link may not always be valid. But if you head this direction and look for this topic, then uh, you'll be able to find this, uh, this information here. So that's your first step, is to take a look at that link and open it up and review what you're going to be doing. All right, so the first shocking thing that you'll uh, go through with the first few steps in that uh, document is to install Docker Desktop. There's some command lines that you'll have to use and such, but ultimately you'll end up with Docker Desktop on your local PC here. Um, and let me go ahead and make this full screen so it's a little easier to see. And then one of the other steps that you're going to do is actually pull down the image of the MAF tools uh, from IBM. And again, there's some command lines that you'll have to use to, to execute that. Um, once that's done, then uh, you will have a container uh, sitting here in Docker Desktop, which you can then control and, and start up and, and use um, uh, for your development efforts. And this is what you'll be interacting with here as you, as you develop the applications. A uh, real simple matter of getting it started. Okay, you just click Start. And if you'd like to see a uh, view details here, you're able to observe the log files. They're just flying by here as this, uh, as this container gets going. Okay? And that's pretty much all that you have to do with the uh, Docker desktop is to pull down that image of the MAF tools and then launch the container. Uh, and then we'll interact with it here in just a moment uh, using the uh, actual tools themselves. Okay. So the next thing to do is to access the MAF tools. So when you configured your container, uh, you provided uh, some port numbers. I just used the default. Uh, so that way your local browser would just use localhost and then whatever port number you selected um, to access the container and access the, uh, the tools. Okay. Um, so this is just Chrome. You can see the URL is really very simple, just localhost and then the port number, and it lands you on this login page. Here's the very first gotcha. This is where you also connect with the actual um, Maximo application server behind the scenes. Um, but you need to have, as you can see down here in the bottom, um, it looks as though you have a choice whether you can just log in uh, normally uh, or whether you uh, use an API key. In the context of the MAF tools, you can only do this by way of having an API key. And that needs to be set up over in Manage. And I'll show you that here in just a moment. But this is a little bit of a gotcha. You think you're all successful and everything, and then you come here and say, oh, I need an API key. And so you'll have to go into Manage, establish that. And then, um, and then come back here and be able to log into the MAF tools. I'm just going to go ahead and log in at this point, and then kind of the next section will show you where you set up that key over in Manage. So I just choose Log In using the API key. Okay, there's the URL to my Maximo instance. Um, and then I'm just going to click Log In. Okay, we'll give it just a moment. We'll get all excited here, but let me go show you the API key uh, part next, and we'll come back to this. Okay, so digressing just a little bit, um, I've logged into Application Suite. I'm going to click on Manage, 
and I'm looking for the uh, API key application, which has uh, uh, recently been moved into the integration module and go way down to the bottom of the list of apps and there's API keys. And basically what you're going to do is going to set up an API key for the users that you're expecting to use the MAF tools. And you can see for me here, I've got an API key. I would simply copy that key and I would be able to use that uh, to access, to, to log in like I had just done previously. So a pretty simple thing to do, um, but you just have to remember where to find this application. Okay, so back to the exciting part where we now see the list of all of the mobile applications that are sitting out there on that server. As you kind of navigate around, you'll see over here on the left-hand side, you'll have some uh, documentation opportunities that uh, are, are very, very helpful. In the next uh, part of this series, we're going to walk through the anatomy of uh, a mobile application so you have a sense of what the different pieces are. Um, but from uh, this perspective here, here's the list. You can see the versions. You can see the revision, whether it's a mobile application or not. And I'm just going to go ahead and click on one just to kind of whet your appetite about what you're going to see. And um, uh, we'll go from there. So again, the next, uh, the next part of this series is we'll walk through some of the different pieces of the application uh, and you know, what they look like and, and such. But you can see here, you've got access to all the XML code that, uh, that describes this uh, application, uh, as well as the different attributes and such for the different pieces of the XML. So we'll wait for part two to dig into some of this. But at this point, you should be set up to uh, visualize uh, these applications and uh, start making some changes to them. So thank you much. We'll see you in the next part.